Wild Florida yeah. Resort's 10th birthday party! We have plenty of celebrating, reminiscing, and surprise announcements for all of you as we remember 10 years of building awesome memories at the one and only theme park built for kids. Absolutely. Good morning, everyone. Um, on opening day, I'm actually model citizen number 74 here at the park. So on opening day, I was part of the sales and marketing team, and we got all the festivities done. We would had such a great time seeing all of our guests come into the park to start creating memorable experiences. And it was getting closer to the afternoon. We kind of retreated back to our marketing office. We were sitting around talking, sharing stories of the day and how awesome it was to see all of our guests finally in the park. Our sales and marketing director came out of our office and she said, you know you guys can go home, right? And we just looked around at each other and thought, but why? Where? It never occurred to us that we should be anywhere else but here at the park we had helped create. Our daughter had won the four-year college scholarship from Lego Land and Florida Prepaid. Let's give a very warm welcome to the mayor of the city of Winter Haven, Mayor Brad Dantzler. I'm so thrilled to be a part of this wonderful party and congratulations Legoland on this exciting and fun milestone. Can you believe that my father played Corky the Clown in the old water ski show? He did. It's now my honor to present a very exciting proclamation from the city of Winter Haven to all my friends at Legoland Florida Resort. Excuse me, Mayor Dantzler. Our friends from Lego Kingdom specialize in proclamations. Do you mind if we do this Legoland style? Oh, therefore I, the town crier of the kingdom. Oh, and Mayor Brad Tansler, the sitter of Winter, Winter Haven, Florida. Mm -hmm. Hereby proclaim that October 15th will now and forever be known as Legoland Day. Our park president and the new managing director of all North American Legoland parks, Rex Jackson. And I'm even more excited to be the one to share some birthday surprises with you all today. It's fitting for us to celebrate today's milestone right here as the Legoland story, our new attraction, is right in front of us. Here, Lego and Legoland history come to life with colorful, photo-worthy displays, an interactive minifigure trading wall, and even an original ride vehicle from Cypress Garden's Triple Hurricane roller coaster. It also gives you the opportunity to build right next to Legoland's own master builders. Did I mention there's also a new coffee shop inside too? In 2022, we'll have a year built with fun in every season. This January, we'll bring back our newest fan favorite event, Pirate Fest Weekends, with some awesome new surprises. Lego Ninjago Days will also return in 2022. And this summer, our awesomer celebration will introduce some new Lego friends to the lineup. Next year, we'll also have our biggest trick-or-treat ever with an all-new show lineup, never-before-seen exclusive LEGO characters, and an all-new cinematic experience. 2022 will also be a year of adventure for our resort. families will set sail on this all-new river quest with a crew of Lego pirates to retrieve the lost treasure that was stolen by a troop of mischievous minifigure monkeys. Here, you'll journey through the waters of the legendary Cypress Gardens on a full-size Lego-themed boat as this new epic story unfolds brick by brick in this family-friendly treasure hunt. While we can't exactly cut this birthday cake, our crew has crafted a treat for today's party that only Legoland could create. So we need all of you to sing happy birthday to Legoland Florida Resort together with us. Ready? Here we go. Quick update on the Miniland cover project. 
as you can see it's coming along pretty quickly it's very very close to being complete there's an update from the other side of mini land both mini and a land as you can see the project is getting underway over here we have the next part going in and it should be open uh, fairly soon once again here's the staging area for the project well, the good part is the apple fries cupcake is really good. The bad part is it's only available today. So, sorry, it's already gone. How oh, it can get much worse. But it did get worse. Shortly after, Ole lost his wife. But Ole was a special person. He wasn't the type that gave up. And with the responsibility of his four sons, he had to think of something. Ole had gotten an idea. And for him, it never took long to put an idea into action. Ole's little invention made his boys so happy that he thought maybe he should start making toys. In the end, he succeeded in selling all the toys. He didn't receive as much money as he had hoped, but the family managed, and they had plenty of food for Christmas. Ole thought perhaps the company needed a good name. What should it be? Yeah, if only I could get some sort of a sign. Lego. And he had worked for was gone, and he almost lost his company. But being responsible for his children and workers inspired him to rebuild Lego. A new factory was constructed. Soon the production of wooden toys started again, Copenhagen, to look at a new machine that had just arrived in Denmark. It was a plastic molding machine, and Ole was very excited about it and put them into production. But it was when Lego first launched the Gray Ferguson tractor that the plastic toys became a success. So this is the Lego story, also a museum. Pretty awesome, actually. And here is a model of Lego Movie World, obviously in Legos. Interestingly, the Duplo characters are actually not made of Duplo. But here are some facts and artifacts from Lego, Legoland specifically, including Dick Pope's skis. And how crazy is this? Playing the piano while water skiing. This is a really cool Lego build, especially after you watch the story of Lego. Here's one of the ride vehicles from and the trains from the Triple Hurricane, which is now Coastal Shores. But it was called the Triple Hurricane because that year, three separate hurricanes hit Florida and Cypress Gardens. I know this because of Expedition theme park because they have he made a great video on Cypress Creek That's pretty cool Started with a duck Originally made of wood too over here is where they build new stuff Over there you see all their parts they can work from these are the master builders Some Kids can build little all things right. over here on the bricks put, put their name and a little message on it and then it's displayed here. Pretty cool. Over here is the Lego minifigure trading zone where you can come here and zone. I mean, trade minifigures. Sort of an interactive display here. A timeline here of all of the Legoland parks so far. I didn't know this. There's two more Legoland parks opening very soon. And of course, out here we have the Legoland Coffee Company. All right, let's see those dance moves, everybody. It's time to keep this party going as we celebrate Legoland Florida Resort's 10th birthday. Thanks for joining the celebration, everybody.
Well, I wish I could hang out here all day, but unfortunately, this guy has to go to work. Uh, I probably should have cleared off my schedule, but, but thanks for watching this video all the way through, and please exit through the gift shop.